Hi everybody, Craig here. Welcome back to the Battle for Westnoff campaign, Descent into Darkness. In our last episode, we completed Scenario 10, which involved Malin fighting his former mentor, Darken Volk, and actually killing him. Now, the other thing that happened in that scenario, of course, is two additional parties showed up, one led by our paladin here, Circadius. Of course, uh, Circadius was trying to kill off the two necromancers. And then the other party was led by Della Keshar, that's Malin's sister. And she was coming to try to finish off her brother and kill him for good, as she had deemed him irreparably evil and that, um, you know, he couldn't be um, redeemed in any way. Now, we were able to thankfully kill off Darkin, get the book, and uh, escape before the massive horde of human units was able to or overrun us. But um, unfortunately, we didn't end with a ton of extra gold, so we'll have to see what comes up in the next scenario. But um, thankfully, we made it through this one um, kind of by the skin of our teeth, but I will take it. Now, before I jump into the next scenario, I did just want to give a couple of quick shout outs to a few individuals who left some excellent comments on the previous episode. First of those comments is from Paulo Eberman. Paulo pointed out that had I recruited a bat early on from our base here, I could have used that bat to grab some of these villages and then kind of harass and, you know, keep capturing the villages back and forth, even if the enemy had taken them for a while. And I think that's a great point. It would have certainly helped my economy, and it might have given me more gold to start with in the next scenario. Paulo also mentioned that I could have poisoned Darkin earlier. And now, this is a great point. Darkin was here, and he had a bunch of undead units. And of course, my Ghast's poison ability didn't affect the skeletons or any of the other undead, the ghosts. And I'd kind of gotten into that, you know, mindset of, oh, well, my, my poison won't affect the enemy here. But I forgot that Darken himself is actually a human and therefore would have been susceptible to my poison. So I didn't use it as early as I could have. And I, I you know, again, I think uh, Paulo's bang on that that would have been smart to have poisoned him earlier if possible. The next set of comments here is from Roge Tebnalok. Now, Roge pointed out that the next scenario is full of a number of secrets. But he also highlighted that there are a variety of secrets, and this has come up in multiple previous episodes, depending on the choices you make in some of the previous scenarios, uh, and then if you're able to do the right little sequence of events or move the right unit onto the right tile, you can actually have special dialogue or special units appear, things like that. I'm really, really impressed with this campaign, just the sheer depth and kind of all these extra little Easter eggs and hidden things. It, um, it adds a lot of kind of replayability because there's so many little secret things Things that it's very easy to miss and again i've missed quite a few of them i had no idea they were even there but thankfully um roge and others have mentioned them so check out roge's comment and you'll you'll see kind of what he's broken down in terms of um, some of the things uh, that can happen depending on the choices you make and then finally here just a comment from snarky malarkey snarky kind of agreed with me that um, malin you know his, his kind of critical character flaw is that he he blames everybody else for the choices he makes right so you know, he's basically the one who's made the decisions that have led him to where he is in this current situation. Um, but he's always blaming everybody. He's blaming Della or Drogon or Darkin, you know, and he's lashing out and kind of, you know, externalizing everything when really it's like if he was just to kind of take a, a deep look, do a little bit of kind of, um, you know, internal assessment, he might realize that, you know, hey, I'm actually contributing to my own problems here a fair bit. Uh, I don't have to make the decisions that I'm making. Um, and, you know, I, I appreciate that Snarky kind of has that same um, view of, of Malin as I do. So uh, that said, I think it, it does still make him kind of an interesting character. You get to watch how some of his character flaws have kind of led him on this path, this descent into darkness, as it were. So um, as always, guys, a big thank you for the excellent comments and suggestions. Extremely appreciated. Without any further ado, let's jump into the next scenario. To become a lich, one must first die. So reads the book that Malin has reclaimed. The spells of necromancy can free the spirit from the limitations of the flesh, but only once the soul has been unbound from the body. <clears throat> the necromancer must make the necessary incantations with his dying breaths, then conquer his own spirit in much the same way he binds the spirits of others. Because he retains his own will, however, the Lich can call upon the awesome powers of the spirit world. Malin closes the book. After all this time and all that he has struggled for, could he just surrender to despair and perish? He has never been one to simply give up, but then is there anything left for him to struggle for? 
Still, the words, that terrifying idea, stick in the back of his mind. Life has offered him nothing. Could death be any worse? Death, and not rebirth, but undeath. With all of Westnoff forbidden to him, Malin finds refuge in a secluded frontier village where few questions are asked. When word eventually filters to the town that Parthen has been overrun by orcs, Malin rouses himself from his listless state without really knowing why, and heads northward. Malin soon finds the tracks of an enormous orc army, and follows them until he reaches their camps. As he sees the number of orcs, he begins to realize the futility of his quest. Harassing and harrying one clan of orcs is a far different task than waging a truly meaningful war against them as a whole. Then again, perhaps he is beyond the point of ordinary reason. There is nothing else left for me to do anyway, Malin thinks, and raises his undead to assault the camp. Within mere minutes, nearly his entire army is destroyed, and he is badly injured by a poisoned dagger. Malin retreats and finds refuge in a small cave. Descent into Darkness Cursed beasts. I won't go down like this, felled by an orc's blade. Master, you are gravely injured. So it seems. Perhaps it would be a suitable end. The orcs were the ones who provoked this journey of mine. Would it not be fitting for them to end my quest as well? There is another way, Master. Remember the book. Yes, yes, the book. That half-rotten, tattered tome which I gave my blood and soul for. I forsook my people, my family, my home, to follow that damn necromancer. And in the end, he betrayed me too, just like Drogon, just like Della. Everyone has betrayed me. I am alone. All that is left. Leave me while I prepare. Yes, master. I suppose I have never been one for regrets. I feel different. Where am I? Why is my body still intact? Am I still alive or... Something isn't quite right. I see. Accepting death was not enough. To become a lich, I must master it. First comes the flesh, the physical form of life. Blood is the crux of life for mortal creatures. But if I wish to ascend beyond that... Oh boy, okay, here we are. Scenario 11, Descent into Darkness. Our victory condition, complete the ritual. Our defeat condition, the death of Malin Keshar. There's a note here. While Malin is standing on a rune stone, he receives additional abilities. So it looks like our goal is to become a full-fledged lich. And we are now kind of in this, I guess you would say, sort of in this state of, of you know, between life and death as Malin kind of hangs on. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I mean, he did technically kind of die, so I guess this is now the challenges we have to face in order to become a lich. Now, from what I can see here, these undead are actually enemies, and here are those runes on the ground. I see six of them, so we'll have to see what they do. Let's step over maybe and grab this one. These runes seem to be useful. Okay, this one's given an ability called Lifeblood. This unit will heal 40 HP every turn. If it is poisoned, it will remove the poison instead of healing. Okay, that is super powerful. Let's see if we can blast this ghoul here. Okay, no luck. <clears throat> okay, and we did get a level up, thank goodness. Um, let's see, we've got extra melee damage, extra range damage, but we suffer some arcane resistance. Or we gain 10% resistance to Blade and Pierce, but we suffer um, extra weakness to Arcane. You know, seeing all these undead around us, we're going to definitely take lots of melee damage. So I think I'm just going to buff our melee. I don't want to have any more extra weakness or anything like that. Now there, it cured our poison, thank goodness. Let's see if we can land a chill wave. Nice. 
These thralls contain only a meager amount of energy, but enough to sustain me. Looked like we got 8 health, so I'm assuming every time we get a kill, we're going to get 8 health back, which is wonderful. Boy, you, <clears throat> you can see that Vitalize really helping us out. Every time we land a hit, we're getting uh, two, he uh, 2 hit points back, which might not seem like a lot, but that adds up pretty quickly. Nice good kill there. You know what? I'm happy to just stay right here because that's going to keep healing us. Nice good kills. Good hits, I know. The flesh appears, distorted and warped, but somehow strangely familiar. Oh, look at this. Flesh of Malankeshar. And it's, it's a necrophage. Okay, well, we'll have to kill it, I guess. Um, we'll go... Let's go here and just go for the Shadow Wave kill. Nice. Good kill there. Nice. Okay, to level up, increase hit points. That's our only choice. Absolutely. Oh, and importantly here, we are now the level 3 version of this unit. We're the Dark Mage. I didn't realize that. That's great. That gives us a huge boost to our um, combat abilities here. Okay, and let's go Shadow Wave, try and kill off this walking corpse. Oh, shoot. Now we're going to get double teamed here. Uh-oh. We could be in some trouble. Nice. Okay, good kill. That's going to get us a little bit of health back. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, Let's try and get the Chill Wave kill here. Excellent. The flesh dies, and then... Drain the blood, strip away the meat, and all that is left is the bone. I remember a time when I thought skeletons were repulsive, sickening things. I suppose it's only natural for the living to fear the most prominent figure of death. Even if I grew out of such a naive thought, I suppose I couldn't have expected Drogon and Della to follow suit so easily. My family and friends, yes, but they were nothing but simpletons. If only they had tried to understand me instead of shunning me outright. I do not really regret following my own path that much. You know, he he kind of keeps saying, oh, I don't regret it, I don't regret it. There is an element of sort of, I think, what's the classic uh, saying? It's, you know, me think the lady protesteth too much. Being, you know, she keeps saying, you know, whatever. And it's like, that's an, almost like an admission of guilt. In his case, it's like he keeps saying it, trying to convince himself, right? Like, oh, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. It's almost like by saying that, he's trying to convince himself. Now, we know this one is the healing one. I think we'll probably just go back there. Yeah, there's lifeblood again. So, we'll let the skeletons come to us. Hopefully, we can survive their hits. Boy, that, um, just getting those two extra health every time we land a hit is massive. That's giving us a real fighting chance. Um, okay, let's see. We can probably land the kill here if we're lucky. Nice, there it is. Okay, that's big. Nice, good dodges. Come on, land one. Yeah, there it is. Jeez, those ranged attacks are not fun. Let's see if we can land both. We might get lucky here. Nice, good kill. Really good kill. Ease in our magic mist there. I feel an aching in my bones as if they are crumbling inside me. Uh oh, what's this? Bones of Malin Keshar. Oh my god, it's got 90 health. It's a revenant too. That's a lot of potential melee damage. Okay, we have to kill off these uh, skeleton archers here. Or else we're going to get, you know, quadru uh, attacked by multiple enemies at once, which will not end well. A good hit. Now we just got to finish this one. Oh my god, there's so many of them. We might be in real trouble here. A good kill. Just have to survive these hits. Oh my god. Jeez, those hurt. Oh, it would have been nice to kill that archer. Jeez. Um, okay, I'm thinking we just kill the archer because that is going to be... We just need to whittle these units down. Nice, okay. 
We just have to hope we dodge some of these. Oh, man. Please. Okay, we dodged one at least. Thank goodness. Okay, we got our health back. Now, I think we can probably... Yeah, we can do some heavy damage here. Nice. Okay, that's great. We just have to survive. We dodged there. Okay, that's good. I think we can, we'll be okay, I think. Yes, we dodged one. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, now we should be able to finish this off. Um, let's kill the bones first, maybe. There we go. And now... Oh, nice, we get a level up. Plus two range damage, but we suffer some arcane weakness. The 10% resistance, but the arcane weakness. Oh, we can improve vitalize. What does it do? Oh, it doubles it, so we get four health instead of two. That's incredible. We're definitely taking that. Because that vitalize is one of the only things keeping us alive some of these turns. That's super useful. Okay, good. Now we can just kill this guy off, hopefully. Oh, that's incredible. The physical form collapses altogether. What remains? The soul. Della always said I was a creature without a soul. I suppose she was jesting at the time, but maybe not after I killed Drogon. I don't deserve this, and I certainly don't answer to someone like her. I have only ever fought to protect my people and my family, but the only thing I received in return was scorn and exile. My own sister thought I was a monster for using my power to save our town. My people would rather feed themselves to orcs than follow my sorcerous ways. Drogon, Della, all of them, they are the ones without souls, not me. I should not really care anymore. I don't care anymore. According to them, I have forsaken my soul already, so what does it matter? I should not regret anything. I'm not really one for regrets. And there it is again. See, he keeps saying that, like, oh, I shouldn't, you know, I don't regret it. I shouldn't regret it. I'm not one for regrets. It's like, who, who are you really trying to convince there? Because it sounds like you're just trying to convince yourself. Let's go see what this rune is up here. Conscience. This unit has its damage increased by 50%. Oh, wow. That's pretty solid. We hit way harder. Let's see if we can get a kill here. Nice. Good work. I wonder, it'd be interesting to see what some of these other ones do. I just, I don't want to get, you know what, let's see. Maybe we can go down there and just try for a shadow wave. Let's see what it does. So this one is conscience. Okay, this is another one. Oh, I guess they must be, oh, I see. These are the, these are paired. So these two are the same. I'm assuming these two are the same and then these two must be the same. Okay, that's good to know. Let's see if we can land this kill. Come on, land it. Yes, there we go. We needed that. Uh-oh. Cold. It's so very cold. Not a biting chill, but a numbness. An emptiness that eats at me from within. Oh, jeez. Oh, th okay. It's This is the soul of Malin Keshar. 70 health. Oh, man. That's a lot of potential damage. Oh, and look at that. It does arcane as well. Well, it's a good thing we're not getting all that extra arcane weakness. That would be really bad for us. Um, I wonder if maybe we should just go up and see if we can start whittling down. Oh, these guys are going to be tough to deal with too. That Bane Blade does a lot of damage. If we go here, I don't know what this um, rune does to help us. We could maybe kill this ghost. What's the movement range on this guy? Okay, so he can't get to us in one turn. Yeah, let's maybe go over here. We'll see what the rune does, and we'll try and get the kill here. Nice, good kill. Okay, what does that one do? Carapace. This unit gains 40% to all resistances. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really a good upgrade there. I think the health might still be the most useful, but that's still super helpful. Okay, we can resist some attacks here at least. Nice, good kill there. Remember, every time we land a kill, we're actually getting some health back. Oh, you know what? If we can get the kill on this wraith, that would be amazing. You know what? Let's let's stay right here and we'll just we'll fight from this one. Hope that's not a, a wrong choice. Jeez, come on, land a hit. 
We got really unlucky there, not doing any damage. At least we got that kill, though. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, that just helped us tremendously. Let's see if we can get lucky again. We just, we'd have to hit both to get the kill, but... Alternatively, we could, I guess, just try and kill this guy, maybe. We'd have to hit both again, but... Let's see if we can get lucky here. Dang it. We might we might end up dying now. Jeez, that's too bad. We have to go. Oh, thank goodness. At least we're resisting a lot of the damage. It's healing up. Okay, that's really good. That, see, you can see, though, that Vitalize is super powerful. Um, come on, let's try for the kill. Yes, there it is. Okay, we should be okay now. Thank goodness for all this extra resistance we're getting. That's keeping us alive for sure. Nice, good damage. Yes, there's the kill. There is darkness. And peace. For a moment. Then they are replaced by a pulling a pain too strong to resist, and then, by emptiness. The cold, it burns. I need warmth, life. I sense some primitive life in that direction. Perhaps I can sustain myself upon them. Okay, here we are again now. Our victory condition has changed. Regain your strength. Our defeat condition is the destruction of Mal Keshar. Our name has changed a little bit. Looks like we have a gold carryover in effect. No early finish bonus. 100% of gold carried over to the next scenario. Okay, you know what? This might be a great place to save it as a part one, and then we can do this as a part two. Um, so, oh, look at this, though. Okay, we are Mal Keshar. We are a lich. A lich is the physical embodiment of black magic's first goal, the quest to achieve immortality. Though a great deal is sacrificed in the rebirth, in becoming a lich, one cheats death of that which truly gives it terror. For it is, for it is the mind that is retained and the spirit which follows, though the body may wither away. It is not known, save perhaps by the inner circles of necromancy, whether life is prolonged indefinitely or simply extended. The fact that this question can be raised at all is a testament to the magnitude of what their order has achieved. Special notes, this unit can move unseen in deep water requiring no air from the surface. During battle, this unit can drain life from victims to renew its own health. This unit's arcane attack deals tremendous damage to magical creatures and even, even some to mundane creatures. This unit has high magical attacks which always have a high chance of hitting an opponent. We've got our Chill Tempest and our Shadow Wave abilities, so... Super cool to see that we've got, we're now a full Lich. Um, as I said, though, I think this is going to be a great place to save it. So let's save here. We'll say, we'll call this part one. And then we will uh, hopefully now do this as part two of uh, this final, or of, of this scenario, I should say. So we'll save it here. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.